Hi everyone! Today I'm going to share an envelope mini album that I made for me and my husband. And I am not going to do a tutorial because I recently did a tutorial on making an envelope journal and it's the same process. So I'll put a link below in the description box where you can find that video in case you missed it. But today I am going to show you a couple of other things that you can do with an envelope journal that are pretty cool. And this one is really special to me. So let's head on over and let me tell you a little bit more about it. I'm not going to take you through a detailed tutorial on how to make an envelope journal or envelope mini album because I just did that very recently and I will put a link below in the description box if you missed it. But I'm doing something a little different with this one and so I wanted to show you that before I decorate it. So I'm going to open this up and you'll see in the other videos, I'm going to actually pull this out, you'll see in the other videos how you take the flap from one envelope and you stick it inside the other. But I have these very special cards that I got from my friend M. Fairley, and they actually came in these envelopes. So all of these envelopes are from her, which makes this really special. But this is an anniversary card that she made for my husband and I, and I treasure it and thought it would be perfect for the first page of my mini album. So all I'm doing is bending that backwards and sticking that back piece in that envelope. And now I have another page. And even though there are brads that go through the back of this one, they will be covered up once I add papers and embellishments. So it's not a problem. But this is a great way to add something special to your envelope mini albums or journals, whatever it is that you're going to be making. And another thing I wanted to show you is that you don't have to use all the same size envelopes. So these are all square and this one is a rectangle and that's okay. And even though the flap doesn't fit exactly all the way down into the next envelope, it doesn't matter because you're going to be gluing that down anyway and you're going to be covering this up. So it is not a big deal. So I just wanted you to know that you can mix envelope sizes when you're making these. And I just wanted to show you one more card that my friend M sent me. It's absolutely gorgeous. She does beautiful work. And I wanted this one in the album too. So I've stuck that here in the very last envelope or the next to the last envelope because the last one is the cover. And I'm just trying to decide whether I'm going to glue that down to the back cover or whether I'm going to leave that as a page. So you'll find out when I get this finished. And that's what I'm going to go do right now. Here are the products that I'm going to be using in today's video. And all of them are from In Love Arts, and I will put a link below in the description box to them. And there will also be links below to these two ThermoWeb DecoFoil products that I use, their flock sheets and their DecoFoil sheets. Before I show you my little mini album here, I just thought it was funny that um, I started making some tags to go in it or to decorate it with. And before I knew it, I was going crazy making tags. These aren't even all of them, but I just wanted to show you a few of them because I think that they are just beautiful. I love the way they came out. On a lot of them, I use deco foil along the edges, and I'll put a link below to some of my videos for deco foil if you want to learn how to do that because it's just a beautiful effect having the foil around the edges. But I also did some heat embossing on these and added some little goodies. And I think I'm going to have to make a whole other video on these tags because I love this die set. It's fabulous. So look for another video coming soon with the tags. But now let's get on to the book. So this is kind of interesting. But what I did here on the front is I used the flock from DecoFoil. So this is their flock transfer sheets. And I die cut it with this beautiful, elegant die. It's actually a set, but this, this particular die from In Love Arts. And this is the part that you may laugh about. That's what the die left afterwards. What's on the back 
not the butterfly, but this, is such an elegant, delicate die cut. But my husband helped me make this, and we decided together that this would go on the back, and that would go on the front because we thought it was so pretty. So, you know, we used both parts of the die cut. Pretty cool, right? And then that's also another die cut right there from In Love Arts, which is the word love. And I cut it out twice, once out of the flocking and then once out of a piece of cardstock and layered them on top of each other. And I added some pearls and this beautiful paper that I absolutely love and I'm going to have to get more of. Let me turn that around. It's called Bronte Charm. I think that's how you pronounce it. And again, from In Love Arts. I'm using a lot of their stuff today along with, obviously, some things from Decofoil. So that's the outside, and here's my little ribbon tie that I've put on. And, you know, like I said, this is not a tutorial on how to um, make this type of album. So what I'm doing right now is just sharing what I've done and showing you, you know, how those extra things I told you about before worked out, like putting in the card and the other envelope and stuff. And also, there's not a lot of embellishments in here because with an envelope mini album or journal, there is not the space between the pages that you would have with an other, another type of um, mini album. So here we go. I'm going to open it up. And there is that beautiful card from my friend M. And over here we have a little pocket. And this is one of the tag dies. But what I did was I actually put a little pearl on each side and made it look more like a label than a tag. So we've done that. And this is the other side. Like I said before, I was going to be covering up the brads, and I did. They're hidden behind the paper. And this is a little tuck. I should have brought something over to show you. Let me grab something. Okay, I can't believe I'm so unprepared. I didn't have anything nearby for this. But here's just a piece of cardstock that I'm sticking in there just to give you an idea of how that works. And this is also one of the die cut tags that I did and I just love the beautiful paper that comes with this you're going to see it throughout here just gorgeous paper from that um, Bronte charm paper pack but here's a little opening right there so you can stick things in there we go like this and there we go and oops might as well save that here because here is another one of those little spots where you can just stick something underneath there and another one of those tags and I did the deco foil around the edges of that and more beautiful paper this I'm not kidding you I love this paper so much I'm gonna have to get another pack because I'm going to use it a lot but here we go and there's another spot to put something I think I showed you that in the front. Did I show you that in the very front? There we go. Had another one of those pockets. And I didn't do a lot on this page, so there's that. But here is that other envelope. The one that wasn't the right size, or not the right size, but wasn't the same size that I showed you that you're able to do that. And I think that's just really an awesome addition. And of course, here's your envelope that you can add things to and more of the beautiful paper and oh, isn't that just gorgeous and this is the tiny envelope i didn't show you that but this is a really you know tiny envelope compared to the rest of it and i also added that and whoops again you know you can put things in there which is great these smaller envelopes are great you know for smaller things whereas these are great for the larger things but i just love this paper, I love the tags, and I love this, another card from M that I used in here, and I decided to glue it to the back page. And so there you go. That is what I did with my um, envelope mini album that I used, the envelopes and cards that I got from my friend M. And like I said, just wanted to show you how you can add different size envelopes to this and how you can add things like special cards as well, just to make it extra special. So there you go. That is my mini album. 
Thank you all for watching today, and I hope that inspired you to give an envelope mini album a try. And if you missed that um, tutorial video, there's a link below in the description box. Just click where it says show more, and not only will you find the link to that tutorial, but you will also find a link to In Love Arts and all of their products that I use today because they are awesome. And you will also find links to the deco foil products that I use today. And you will find links to videos on how to use deco foil without a machine. So there's a lot in that description box. Like I said, just click where it says show more and that'll drop down. And if you are using your phone and it doesn't say show more, there'll be a little down arrow next to the title and that should work for you. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.